Hello everybody. For more than an year now, many people who have been waiting in the express entry draws have been only getting disappointed. And many of you have started to lose hope or some of you have actually lost hopes because your age is increasing and your CRS score is going down. So, if not Canada, have you thought of any other options? Have you ever thought of immigrating to Australia? Yes, in 2022, Australia can be a great option to immigrate because of some of the announcements that they have made. So in this video, I want to talk to all of those people who were thinking of immigrating to Canada until now, but can now think of immigrating to Australia. When plan A doesn't work, implement the plan B. And guys, before we begin this video, just a quick update about a new vlog that I just uploaded on my Hindi vlogging channel, which is about my third anniversary. It is another fun-filled vlog and I would definitely want that you go and check out that video. The link is in the description box below. Okay, so as I've been living in Canada and I make so many videos about moving to Canada, so not many of you would know that Canada was my plan B. My plan A was actually Australia. I wanted to move to Australia, never to Canada. But because I could not score some crucial points to clear the eligibility to get the uh, Australian PR, I thought of moving to Canada, which was my plan B. As I said in the starting of this video, all of you who had Canada as their plan A can actually think of moving to Australia and have it as their plan B because in this video I've got some good news for you. So Australia is looking to increase immigration significantly this year in 2022 to fight the migrant crisis that they have in their country. Now you might not be aware about this but because of COVID-19 Australia actually uh, imposed very strict travel restrictions and because of that they also stopped immigration in their country to a very great extent. In 2020-21, their immigration was minus 89,000. So more people actually moved out of Australia in respect to what actually moved in. So the net immigration was minus 88,800. Well, they forecasted that this number would be improving for 2021 and 22. But still, the immigration would be minus 41,000. And when we say 2021 to 22, they mean that from 1st July 2021 to 30th of June 2022. So all in all, from 1st of July 2020 to 30th of June 2022, in these two years, their net immigration would be minus 130,000, which means the Australian population, instead of growing, it would actually decrease. And you already know that all these countries have all these immigration programs because they badly need immigrants, not just to run their economy, to give them taxes, but also because they have an aging population. So countries like Canada and Australia, they boost immigration. And there's one more reason, they have the federal election coming in Australia somewhere towards April or May. So this would again be a big topic there as well. There's a huge labor shortage in Australia right now. And to address that, they need immigrants from across the world, skilled labor, all those people who can contribute to the economy. So the Australian Treasury's mid-year economic update has suggested that uh, immigration in Australia would actually climb up to 180,000 in the next year. Starting 1st of July 2022 to 30th of June 2023, Earlier, they forecasted that they would need around 90,000 people, but now they forecasted that the migration would be something around 180,000, which is a big, big number. And not just that, they're supposed to increase immigration now every passing year. So in 2024 to 25, the forecast is for 235,000 people. So all of you guys who were very disappointed 
uh, about immigrating to Canada that you know all these things which have been happening in the world of Canadian immigration maybe Australia could be a ray of hope for you guys now all these numbers that we talked about these huge numbers these are not just for uh, the PR candidates these are for other categories as well these are the overall numbers for the immigration the net immigration how many people would be leaving Australia versus how many people would be coming into Australia the numbers might get more clear towards the second quarter of 2022 because of course we might see a change in the government as well so the new government that comes in whether it's the existing uh, government or a new party they would actually uh, come with an immigration plan and of course things will get more clear but we know for sure that Australia would be immigrating many more people than they, what they have done in the recent past. Okay, now of course it's very important that why do you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia? If your reason for moving to Canada is something like you have very close family or friends in Canada or in US, or maybe there's another special reason why you want to move to Canada specifically, so in lesson until there's a very special or a big reason why you chose Canada specifically I think Australia can be a good option it was my first choice as I told you earlier so I paired for IELTS and the score I was supposed to use for Australia I actually used that in the case of Canada and you can also do vice versa so if you've uh, prepared for your IELTS you got a wonderful score and you don't want to wait, maybe you can think of using that score for Australia. Now in this one video, I don't want to talk about the uh, process of getting the Australian PR or discuss the points table in detail. I've already done that in the uh, previous videos. The things haven't changed a lot since then. I'll provide the link in the description box below if you're interested, you can watch those videos. Uh, but still, I can tell you about this, that uh, moving to Australia, you can actually get really good points if you're experienced in whatever you do. So like in Canada, your points start get decreasing once you're 30 years of age, right? But for Australia, they reduce after you cross the age of 33. So from 25 to 33, you can score the maximum number of points. At the same time, if you have more than eight years of experience, then you can score very good points. Of course, adding the points from your educational requirements and many other factors, you can actually score good points and if you score good enough the cutoff score is 65 but 65 is generally not good enough if you score 75 or 80 or 85 so that was the situation before the pandemic but i would expect that if they want to get to a better pace or even the similar pace then they would uh, actually hover around the same points if you have 75 uh, 80 points i mean you can definitely expect an invitation that is the case for 189 visa which is uh, a federally sponsored visa if you want to go for a provincial sponsored visa which is the 190 visa i don't know if i'm using the right terms in terms of uh, sponsored visa but still uh, if you want to go for 190 visa you would get additional points so adding up all those points if you're able to score good number of points 65 is the cutoff score if you're able to score let's say 75 80 85 there are high chances that you can actually um, get the invitation from australia now i know i created those videos a couple of years back so that is quite an old content now if you want i can recreate those videos with the updated content all the updated inf information uh you know what is the uh, current point table what is the current structure of that point table um, what are the new rules that are there if you are interested i can definitely make that video for you please let me know in the comment section below now of course for this one video i'm talking to so many of you so of course things are difficult to generalize as such but still i would suggest that at least start researching about uh, the australian pr if you would be eligible what are your chances of uh, getting the australian pr start thinking all about that if you're not that inclined about immigrating to canada Australia can be a really, really good option. I know that this video would be seen by thousands of people and in the years to come, somebody, at least one person would tell me that yes, because of this video, I moved to Australia. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any comments, any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. And, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do not forget to click the subscribe button.